patriotic alliance is switching sides in coalition councils around the country. It's now sparking fears of a change of government once again. This week, the PA was announcing uh, as the newest coalition partner in the Gauteng metros after it dumped the ANC. Oh, the party's leader announcing more changes. Analysts are saying the moves may affect their support base. With that story, ENCA's Govan Whittles. I know whenever you talk about the PA... The Patriotic Alliance says it's unhappy with the job allocations in Nelson Mandela Bay and changes are necessary. 66 people was hired from the ANC, from the NA, from DOP, and not one person was hired from the PA. So my instruction to the council is there. You vote against the ANC. You vote, even if you have to vote with the EFF, you vote with the EFF. That's my instruction to Nelson Mandela Bay. And it's threatening more changes in other areas if its members are not prioritized for jobs. I'm coming for Bloom, I'm coming for Mvuleni, JB Marx, Rent West. If there's nothing, well, people don't have jobs. We rather go into the opposition benches. Or we rather send in people that's going to raise hell inside there for jobs for our people. But will this strategy work? One analyst believes that if service delivery suffers, the PA may lose support. However, voters are just going to see coalitions chopping and changing every six months and service delivery going backwards rather than forward, and they're going to attribute that to the Patriotic Alliance, then that type of politics isn't going to work for the Patriotic Alliance. So it might work now, but I think uh, particularly residents in those municipalities which are affected will get sick of this. Along with changing coalition partners, the PA is this week expected to remove its councillors, which it says have failed to deliver in coalitions. Govan Whittles... Johannesburg.